Uh, I'm Adam Goodliffe, I'm an electrical equipment engineer within Plessy Semiconductors and I've been at Plessy for six years. Uh, I work on a specialised set of equipment downstairs in our, in our wafer fabrication area, which is a shop floor environment. Um, my general day-to-day -day work includes uh, planned maintenance activities, uh, repair work and fault finding on electrical and mechanical systems and also system modifications. If I'm honest, I wasn't sure that I was starting out as, a, as the right thing when I came into this. It was, a, it was all a bit new, unfamiliar for, for me. I, it was only when I left school after the first year that I decided that I wanted to do into something a little bit more practical than go down the A-level university route. Um, I decided to take this on. I saw it was a, an advanced route that offered higher education as well, which for me was you know, fundamental, something that I really you know, needed to get out of the next stage of my life. It's, it's a case of working alongside um, my studies and um, developing and gaining skills as an engineer along the way. It taught me some, some good life lessons to start with. Um, and also, uh, for, for me, working alongside studying was, was something that was of real benefit to me. I, I took it on in knowing that I was going to go into higher education um, and thankfully through my company um, and the local colleges I was able to you know, work all my way through to foundation degree level uh, which I'm at now and also gaining you know, five years of experience along the way as well which makes a really well-rounded training program for someone of my age. Uh, for me, it was it was something that you know came out of nowhere. My, I, I had a family member that saw a poster, you know, and out of pure chance, I applied for this one job and I got it. Otherwise, I probably would have stayed at school. Um, but now there's there's plenty of ways to to get involved with apprenticeships. There's you know, schemes through schools. Uh, if an individual wanted to to go down that route, they would put you in contact with local colleges that are associated with local employers that could put you in a position to to take out an apprenticeship. Um, there's also a lot of information online as, as to how to apply and who to apply with. My biggest advice would be if you've got any interest whatsoever in doing something more practical, whether it's um, you know, engineering like myself or, or anything out there, um, just do it. Apply. There's no harm in applying at all for any of these things. If you you know, you're midway through your A-levels and you feel like it's not going well or, you know, it's, it's you know, not something you're enjoying, then, then apply and from there you can assess your options after that. So that would be my biggest advice. When I started my apprenticeship in 2010, um, I was expected to have five GCSEs. I took the advanced apprenticeship route, so for the core of Maths, Science and English I was expected to have um, grade B or above. There are, however, other apprenticeship schemes out there with other employers that offer apprenticeships for people with five GCSEs for C grade and above. So, from in, my, in my job role that I'm in now, if I was to walk in the door today, they would expect me to have at least uh, a higher national diploma, HND in my specialist area, which I now have, and I'm qualified above that now. So.